please my social media handles and all the links are down below in the description box. Hello. How are you? I think it's, uh, I feel like I'm at a press conference. <laughs> But yes, and a uh, great game by the boys, you know, really played well. Uh, Got to give it to the other team, of course, you know, outstanding, outstanding opponents. But at the end of the day, uh, you know, we just, we dug deep and, <laughs> you know. How is everybody? It's been a while since I last did a ramble. Uh, this is, this is my dog's toy. Makes nice noises. It's weird being back in my parents' house because uh, there's lots of cool ASMR things I can see, like loads. Anyway, uh, the title of this video: Why the world? There's a car. Listen to that. That's a that's a vehicle. Uh, why the world needs ASMR at the minute? And uh, I feel like the answer's relatively. Self-explanatory, I suppose, in the terms of like you know the uncertainty in the world and how stressful it is, and uh, and uh, everyone's anxiety is skyrocketing. Mine is definitely. My ASMR consumption has has definitely increased tenfold, um, because well, it relaxes me, it, and I find a great benefit from it. You know, I can't go get a haircut. So I, I watch haircut ASMR role plays, and I pretend everything is normal. Uh, the world's straight up wonky. It's not just a pandemic. Like if 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 there was just a pandemic and there was a virus going around the world, then then that would be scary enough. But unfortunately, uh, obviously you know twenty four seven media, and we've got the social media. We've we've got the internet. Everything's so much more amplified and highlighted. And you can see the ineptitude of certain world leaders uh, and the fractures in, the, in their societies and countries that they're definitely exacerbating, you know? Um, it's becoming a bit a bit tribalistic. Uh, oh, might have to edit that. It's becoming a bit tribalistic in terms of like... I just... everyone's picking a side. It's, it's weird. And uh, a lot of countries have their own problems. I'm not saying any country's perfect. That would be incredibly arrogant, really. It would be a ridiculous, ridiculous statement. I think some countries are doing better than others. But um, the cracks are definitely uh, more more obvious in certain countries. Um, and it's scary to see. It's really weird. Uh, you know. Anyway, I, I'll probably cut that out. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think ASMR... I don't think politics should come into ASMR. Because we... we we come here to distract us. There's, I don't know. We come here to distract ourselves. Um, but the world is weird. The world is weird and wonky right now. So we need ASMR to keep us sane, to give us that sense of normalcy, to to give us tingles, 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 to to just keep us calm. You know, it's it's so weird. It's so weird what's going on, uh, but luckily, you know, we can we can snuggle up with a blanket or a cushion, uh, with a book, uh, uh, put on some ASMR, and just sort of just sort of just get a bit more zen, you know. It's weird, so I think yeah, we definitely need ASMR at the minute. Faux show, faux show. Now more than ever, not the, now more than ever, but anyway. Uh, I don't mean to linger on that topic for too long. I just thought I would I would mention my thoughts and the fact that I think ASMR is definitely more necessary now than it ever has been. Uh, perhaps marginally in your eyes, but yeah, it definitely is. It definitely is needed. I think, uh, along with other other forms of stress relief, you know, uh, like uh, listening to classical music, I find it calms me down. Which it may not for you. Maybe for you, it's 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 another genre of music, uh, or it's it's listening to, or maybe it's not even listening to anything. Maybe it's drawing or reading or writing or painting. 
but whatever it is, you know, however you find your zen, uh, definitely focus on that at the minute, I think, because it's, uh, you, you need to have something that, that does calm you down, but I could ramble, that's a, I'm, I, I could definitely go down this rabbit hole for a while, not gonna lie, uh, I have a tendency to ramble and go on tangents, but yeah, anyway, uh, about what's going on with me if if you're interested i thought i'd ramble about this channel uh oh, that was nice remember that remember i did that at the beginning of the video then i said all that stuff and now i'm back to doing this i should have brought some more asmr stuff really for this video but i'm sitting cross-legged uh the dog's there if, if i stand up he'll definitely knock something over <laughs> Um, that tissue box could do. What else we got? We got this. Hook, 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 hook. You know that scene in the... You ever seen Hook of Robin Williams and Dustin Hoffman? And then like when the kids get abducted and there's that sort of ominous hook, hook, hook. And when they discover, they discover the note. Um, yeah. That was really scary as a kid, wasn't it? And then Robin Williams is like, oh, I am Peter Pan, that's so weird. I don't remember being Peter Pan. Anyway, um, the ASMR podcast, I finally feel like, is ready to go, almost. I, I want to incorporate interviews a lot more, like interview ASMR artists. Um, as well as sort of current affairs and news and things and uh, trigger of the day. But if there's anything you would like to see incorporated into an ASMR podcast, now's the time, I reckon. Uh, I suppose once it comes out, we can, you know, constantly rejig it and 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 build on certain areas. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm living in New Zealand again um, for the next month at my parents, as I said. Then I will be going to the UK uh, to live with my girlfriend up up in the north of England. Uh, and possibly Scotland. I don't know. I've got a lot of family from Falkirk, so we might go there. Uh, otherwise, I don't know. Don't know what's going to happen. Like the original plan was to go travelling. April the twenty sixth, we had tickets booked to Singapore, and then from Singapore we were going to fly down to Indonesia and travel around. And then uh, around now, or maybe in a couple of weeks' time, we were going to fly to the UK and then you know live there so obviously we've had to cancel the trip or uh, not even postpone really just try to just cancel it and we'll just do another trip another time when all this starts to clear up unfortunately there is there's no real end in sight I guess uh, yeah I should have thought about more what I was going to say I feel uh, this is going to be a hell of a ramble bit of a stream of consciousness kind of thing uh, but yeah, what did you think of the audiobook, by the way? The Harry Potter audiobook I made. Um, it's definitely like a, a grey area legally, um, in terms of the copyright, but if I keep it unmonetized, uh, then I think I can keep it up. I don't know, I just, there's not enough ASMR audiobooks, especially full ASMR audiobooks, which is what I was trying to achieve with that, you know? Uh, I'd like to pretty much like to do the entire series, but that was the shortest one, and it took me eight hours. And by the end of it, like my throat was just gone, eh? Because you're trying to maintain that ASMR the entire time. Like this isn't my normal speaking voice. To be honest, it is. There's definitely an effort that goes into sounding like this. Um, don't know whether it, it's a constriction of the esophagus or the larynx or something, but uh, it definitely feels some sort of stress. Uh, from there, like at the back of your throat as well. I just made a mukbang video, my first ever mukbang video. Um, and it was like, I've just listened back to the audio. Like, I ate a lot of noodles. I just listened back to the audio. And uh, I don't think it picked up the eating, <laughs> which, which is the main part of a mukbang. Like, that's the most important part of a mukbang video, right? Is the eating sounds. Yet, I did not, I did not catch that. So hopefully, I'll see if I can like, 
amplified in post or something. Um, but yeah. But yeah. Anyway, I'm going to record The Hobbit audiobook. And I don't know if anyone's ever read Hemingway, Ernest Hemingway, uh, Old Man in the Sea. I will also record, because that's quite a short book to record. I could record some William S. Burroughs as well. I don't know if anyone's ever read Junkie. But ju oh, someone's got a motorbike. Oh, well done. Mm, good on you. Uh, I don't know if anyone's ever read Junkie, but I could do that. That might be a bit rough for ASMR. It definitely wouldn't get monetized. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, I was also really keen to start like expanding my ASMR skill set. You know, um, like I try, I've tried a new few different videos recently like the tattooist roleplay and there was a staring at you one which like no speaking which was different for me uh i'll probably chill out on the boyfriend roleplays for a while uh just because like, i've made a lot of them you know i think like 27 or something uh and i made them because you know at the start that on my channel that was what got views that's what people liked um but now i feel like i've exhausted that genre a little bit and uh, it's it, it's weird because I, I, was, I was always pretending like I was talking to Nicole in the videos um, or whoever uh, it's just yeah it's um I could do a, uh, I don't know it's it's yeah it's a strange one how about Elon Musk at the minute though good grief look at that what's he up to what's he up to Bit of bit of fun, uh, Bezos too. It's it is weird. I feel like we're a definite turning point in society, uh, cause there's there's got to be some major societal shift. There has to be. It's just not sustainable. I think everyone says this. Everyone everyone's aware of this. Uh, maybe some people aren't, but you know, those people are out of touch with reality anyway. Talking about the ultra rich. Um, it, 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 we can't do this for another 50 years. You think 50 years ago things were, you know, um, a bit different in terms of the distribution of wealth. And now, now we're at this point where what is going to happen? Like, is there any point having kids if, if, if they're just going to be born into a world which is shit? Which is just a fucked up world? You know? Like, it, it, I don't... It's, I don't know, it's, it's hard to elucidate sometimes, or put into words, the, the feelings you have, you know. Um, so I'm going to start a blog, because writing is my thing, that's what I, I do. Um, and I've got a lot of thoughts and opinions, which I would like to write down. Um, not necessarily share, but I would like to... Publish them in a public place, for sure. Publish them in a public place. Um, just... It's... It's not... There you, in, in Hyde Park in London, I'm pretty sure, there used to be a corner where people would just stand and have a metaphorical soapbox on which to preach. Uh, because they believed in... Uh, everyone deserved to write. I think a, a lot of places historically had had somewhere within their uh city or town where people could just go and preach and it was seen as as a ma as a major part of society uh, and i guess blogs are now that that voice that that soapbox on which to stand um so yeah i might i might i, I am i'm gonna start a blog which i'm quite excited about uh i've always wanted to have a blog but i've never really done it ah, but now I should and I've also been thinking about starting a Patreon I'm not gonna do that I've always felt weird about Patreon um, 
and I understand it, it's definitely a very cool website, a very cool platform to support your creators, but I don't need money to make these videos at all. Um, it's, it's so easy to make ASMR videos, really. Um, if, you know, if I wanted to, if I wanted to get one of the, the ear microphones, oh, the mic for like the 3DIO microphones, I'll just save up and buy one. It, you don't, I don't need you to pay me money to get one. Uh, it just seems a, I don't, I'm not, I, it definitely has its place within the ASMR community, uh, for people who make intricate role plays and, you know, really cool really cool stuff and unique and experimental things but for the ASMR I make um, I don't think I need donations I don't think or any of that um, I'll just you know invest the money I make uh, myself uh, I have debated opening a Patreon before uh, and it always comes back to uh, I don't know what do you think? It's it's in, I I need to know your opinions as well. I'm not gonna make one. I'm not. But it'd be interesting. Still, it'd still be interesting to know your opinions for sure. Uh, but yeah. What, and also, what kind of videos would you like to see from me? Um, be curious. But yeah, interesting. I haven't made a ramble in so long. I think since December. Remember, I made that. Uh, it was early December. My first video. Uh, in a long time, crikey. I made that. I was like cupping. I think that's how I started the video. Uh, it was welcome back after this after this brief delay. Um, but yeah, I didn't upload much in Melbourne either. Like really at all. We just it was Melbourne was such a such a growing experience. I learned a lot. I obviously I met Nicole there. Um, uh, I met a lot of really cool people there. I had a lot of really incredible experiences, um, and it was a fantastic year and a half. It feels just like yesterday. I, I was talking to this cam, to this same camera, uh, different microphone because I broke the other one accidentally. Uh, I was talking. I was like, I'm moving to Melbourne, and then I was living in a hostel. He's back. Oh, good on you. Great. And I was living in a hostel for seven months. So that's why I wasn't able to film. <laughs> I wasn't able to film any videos when I was living in that hostel. But that was wild, living in a hostel. Because um, I first, I booked in for three days. Three days to live in this hostel. And then uh, stayed there for seven months. On and off, like, I'd flit about here and there. Um, I wouldn't always sleep in the hostel. You know, sometimes we'd have little trips, perhaps, or, you know. Um... And then, but I met some some of the best people I've ever met in that hostel, and it was weird because you'd think a hostel's just for sort of like fly by nights, you know, you, you stay a couple of nights and then go on and keep traveling, but this hostel like a lot of long term long term stayers, really, uh, and I had a bar attached like a pub downstairs, an Irish pub where I you know I worked for a couple of months, which is really interesting. I've I've never done anything like that. I've never been a bartender. I've never worked in hospitality. Um, and I was just, I went to Stu, the guy who ran it, and I was like, hey Stu, do you reckon, like, you could help me, just, I'm interested in working in hospital for a bit, do you reckon you could help me, you know, see if you've got any contacts or whatever, and Stu said, um, why don't you just work here, mate, and I was like, yeah, go on, Stu, so he, uh, sussed me a couple shifts here and there, and, uh, I ended up learning so much, like, because you're not only pulling pints and all that, you're, uh, you're, you're looking after the hostel as well. It was cool. Ah, oh, my, my memory card's about to run out. That's good. That's, uh, you know, I might just finish the video there. Um, th this was a nothing video. It really was. But, um, I guess, yeah, the world needs ASMR at the minute was, was the main point of what I was trying to say. So, um, yeah, just stay cool, stay strong. It's going to be all right. I promise. It will be all right. We always get through stuff as as humans. So I'll, uh, I'll see you on the other side. See ya. Bye. Goodbye. One more. It's gonna go off now. Wait, wait. It's gonna happen. It's gonna. It's gonna stop recording. 
it's flashing. It's going to stop recording. I know it is. I'm just going to, I'm not even going to get up and, there you go.